There are just five categories that every traveler cares about when they are evaluating wheeled luggage, which we will sift through one by one. But first, if you have been with me for a bit and you're thinking to yourself, what the heck? I thought you were a dedicated one bag traveler. I have linked a blog post down in the description below with some pretty exciting updates for this coming half year. But going back to luggage, I had used this rolling luggage set from Monos for a few years, as you can see from the dents and scuffs. With this upcoming trip though, I checked out their Carry On Pro series because of the innovative step of merging the best of hard shell luggages and soft fabric rollers. We'll get to that very soon, but first, none of this matters if this luggage doesn't work with category one that matters to everyone, and that, of course, is airline compliance. As an established brand in the travel space, there is no way Monos would fail to meet these strict requirements. And having used this white one since 2018 for trade shows, I can personally attest to sizing compliance over 30 plus flights. By the way, to avoid confusion, this is the Carry On Pro. They also offer the Carry On Pro Plus, which is slightly larger, and one very handy feature on the Monos website is this pop-up on all of their product listings labeled Airline Compatibility, which, when clicked, shoots out a chart of virtually every major airline, and doing a rapid scroll, we can see that it's all check marks without a single X on any of these 63 most popular listed airlines from around the world. When it comes to compliance, the strongest point of independent research you will need to do is to determine if any potential weight restrictions apply for the airline that you will be flying with. Many airlines, especially those for cross-border flights, have a surprisingly low weight limit of just 15 pounds or seven kilos, inclusive of the luggage itself. That being said, I find that this low 15 pound limit is quite easy for me to stay within if it's just clothes and travel sized toiletries, but things like tech and certain types of shoes are where weight limitations can easily be broken. Again, it's on you to check your airline's website for potential weight limitations. With airline compliance out of the way, we can slide onto category two of storage and organization. Check it out. This standard carry-on I used to use is indeed a seemingly regular shelled rolling luggage. Their interior is why I initially chose to buy Monos all those years ago. As with most of these types of luggages, it opens clamshell style where there is a full zip on the left side, but the right side is what really sold me. This compression cinching strap and buckle system really inspired confidence to minimize stuff shifting all over the place while being so easy and reliable to use. This newer Carry-On Pro model, however, retains the same benefits of my older Monos Carry-On I used to use, but also introduces this front hard-shelled compartment that accordions out to reveal well-padded subcompartments for peak organization and fast access to frequently used items. The core compartment is just shy of 10 inches wide, and as you can see, the largest and bulkiest bulkiest 16-inch MacBook Pro slides into the frontmost pocket against the back, while the sleeve behind it is forcible, but just not pleasant for this size of laptop. Although, of course, any smaller or thinner computer will slide in just fine. Against the door of the accordion compartment are this sleeve right up against the front, which is perfect for a tablet, like this 9.7-inch iPad. What I really appreciate are these three zipper compartments that are also padded. The sizing for the larger one is just shy of six by four inches, while the two stacked smaller ones are both just shy of two and a half by four inches. This plays naturally into category three, efficiency of access. And starting where we left off, this front compartment is so handy since most of us have something that we need to access frequently. Whether it's obvious like a computer while waiting for boarding or smaller as needed items like potential medication or even lip balm. And having a zippered dedicated storage for these items are truly night and day compared to needing to unzip the full horseshoe zipper of a carry-on luggage, open up the clamshell and go digging. Category four is security and durability. For the durability portion, I think the proof is in the pudding. These five or six-year-old pieces have sailed on over 30 flights, most of which were between my home here in Toronto and trade shows in the US, often packed with heavy metal fab samples from the workshop, and aside from aesthetic blemishes, everything still works great, including the zippers, wheels, and telescoping handles. In other words, durability is something I wholeheartedly am confident in with their hard-shelled luggages. From a security standpoint, this Carry-On Pro has a case-integrated TSA-compliant combination lock. These are definitely not the most secure locks, but maintaining TSA compliance is important in case you decide to ever check it in. And as usual, when it comes to pickpockets or opportunity thieves, the goal does not have to be the most secure measure on earth. It just has to be more secure than the other bags around you. One thing I hope for when it comes to a version two though, is for Monos to consider adding the same TSA compliant locking mechanism for the front organization compartment. With security and durability out of the way, we can move on to the fifth category, which is appearance and comfort. 
Appearance is completely subjective, but personally, I love the design language of Monos' pieces. Doesn't matter what I think though, it only matters what you think, so I will just do a 360 twirl for you to decide for yourself. In terms of comfort in use, as I already touched on before, the zippers are all super smooth and durable, but even more importantly, the telescoping handle is so ergonomically curved in all the right places, whether you're pulling overhand or underhand, which, of course, is super important since this handle is where 90 plus percent of your interaction with this piece will be while in transit. My favorite comfort component, however, has got to be the wheels. I gotta say, these wheels are by far the best wheels I have ever encountered on rolling luggage, and I have owned a Ramoa at more than three times the price of this Monos. Almost all modern rolling luggages I've seen in the past decade do well on flat and smooth indoor floors like those inside of an airport. But these even glide effortlessly on the carpets found inside those narrow airplane aisles, and, despite still being a pain, are as good as I've experienced on outdoor bumpy sidewalks and interlocking bricks. Look, I am forever a one-bag travel preferer since the freedom agility and simplicity are unrivaled. But what about people like my mom, who, after her hip replacement surgery, can no longer handle the weight of a travel backpack for long periods of time? For those folks, I definitely think Monos needs to be on the list of consideration, not just because of all the five categories we explored so far, but even because of value. Monos is most certainly premium in my view, with premium, to me, being defined as not needing to worry about it, pulling its weight for at least a full decade of very frequent travel like I do, and the price point at less than three times that of the industry standard in premium luggage with the Ramoa Essential Cabin size is a no-brainer if you are a frequent flyer. For this upcoming six-month work trip, this is what my packing will look like. Since I have secured a long-term rental in Taiwan, for just the flights to Asia in a few days and when I come back in June, all my non-battery powered camera gear like tripod, light stand, key light, and cables will go into this old Monos check-in size I have, since batteries are not allowed to be checked in. I'll also be checking in this new Carry-On Pro, although it's actually going to be empty, since I have decided to bring it specifically to fill with unique EDC goodies I find throughout Asia to become giveaways to you when I return home in June. Then, as usual, the packed travel bag and the Alpaca Bravo Sling Max will be my carry-on and personal item. And for my very frequent trips between Taiwan and Japan, Vietnam and Indonesia, I will, of course, be one bag traveling for all of those client and vendor visits. By the way, I'm the type of person who, once I find something that works perfectly for my use cases, I have no problem sticking with it with blinders on. So if you have a hard-shelled rolling luggage you believe in, be sure to drop it in the comments so everyone can benefit from your experience. That said, if you do like what you saw in this video, even though this video is not sponsored, seeing as how I've been using Monos well before I even started this channel, Monos has still been kind enough to let me share a limited time discount code, and you can find that code down in the description below. I just want to reiterate though, I am and will always choose to travel with just one bag if I can, and if you want to see how not one but two people can travel comfortably for two weeks sharing just one single backpack, you will definitely want to watch this video right up here. But if you're feeling lucky, this video down here is the one for you. I'll leave them both on screen so you can choose which one to watch next. But while you're deciding, consider liking, subscribing, and hitting that bell so you'll be notified the moment new videos just like this one drop.